Good morning everyone, my name is Lara Jane Lee and my report is all about the steam power plant, its concept, and its calculation. The steam power plant is also called a thermal power plant. The steam power plant is an important source for producing electricity and it is also defined as a power station where we generate using the steam-driven electric generator. This steam electric power station is a power station in which electric generator is driven, water is heated, turned into steam and spins a steam turbine which drives an electric generator. After it passes through the turbine, the steam is condensed in the condenser. This is the schematic process of the actual design of the steam power plant. This is the another diagram of steam power plant running on Rankine cycle, which a fuel is used to produce within a boiler and then converting the water into a steam which expands through a turbine producing into useful work. These are the layout of steam power plant consists of the following parts which are the coal and ash handling unit, boiler, superheater, steam turbine, generator, condenser, economizer, feed pump, cooling tower, and the chimney. The first one is the coal and ash handling unit. Before feeding the coal into the furnace, it must be pulverized and after combustion, the ash is collected in the ash handling unit. The boiler, the, equip the equipment used for producing steam is called the boiler or the steam generator. The next one is the superheater. The dusting is taken out from the boiler and is superheated so that the steam should water molecules. The next one is the steam turbine. The steam which is free from water molecules are used to strike the blades of the turbine so that, so that large amount of water can be regenerated. Now the next one is the generator. A generator that converts one form of energy to another is attached to the rotor of the turbine and as the turbine rotates, it also rotates to the speed of the turbine. Next is the condenser. The steam after striking on the blades of the turbine enter into the condenser where it gets condensed with the help of cold water from the cooling tower. The next one is the economizer. The economizer adds the feed water to extract a part of the heat from the condensate by increasing the feed water temperature. The next one is the feed pump. This feed water is to be sent to the boiler using a feed pump only. And then we have the cooling tower. The water that is used to condense the steam in the condenser was supplied from the cooling tower. Then we have the chimney. It is the last danger only. The air particles will enter into the atmosphere by reducing the heat from the steam by usage of water sprinkler. And then we have the superheater. The steam is taken out from the boiler and is superheated so that the steam should be free from the water molecules. In the next slides, we will discuss about the working principle of steam power plant. A steam power plant working phenomena will be discussed using these three circuits, which are the furnace circuit, steam circuit, cooling water circuit. So the furnace circuit, before feeding to the furnace, the goal is to be converted into the pulverized form and after combustion, the ash is to be collected into the ash pit, which is the ash handling unit. The steam circuit, the water present in the boiler is heated up by means of a furnace and as the density of steam is less than the density of water, the, the steam will deposit on the surface of the water. And then the cooling water unit, the water that is used condensed the steam in the condenser was supplied from the cooling water. The hot steam cannot be released directly into the atmosphere from the chimneys and by doing so, the hot steam will affect the and then we have the uses of the steam power plant. It generates electricity from steam and it can be used in the automotive industry. We have the advantages of the steam power plants. The first one is the coal for the combustion is to be transported via rail railways and roadways. Second, the fuel use is quite cheaper compared to the other modes of power generation processes. The next one is the setup cost is also very low compared to others. The next one is the space accommodation is less compared to the hydropower plant. And then we have the disadvantages of steam power plants. 
The first one is the steam power plant produces smoke and fumes at the end of the combustion process, which can pollute the environment. And then, the time consumption is more for those power plants which are away from the coal field. The next one is the setup cost is also very low compared to others. And then the next one is, is space accommodation is less compared to the hydro power plant. And then we have the calculations. A steam power plant has coal consumption of 165 ton per hour. Calorific value of coal is 3,500 kcal per kilogram. If the power generation is 250 megawatts, find overall efficiency of the plant. Use relation 1 kcal equals to 4.18 kilojoules. And then we have the given. Our mass is 165 ton per hour. And then we will convert it into kilogram per second which is 165 times 1000 over 3600 and then our calorific value is 2500 kcal over kilogram and then eco convert into kilojoules per kilogram 2500 times 4.18 and then our output power is 250 megawatts to convert into kilowatts. 250 times 10 raised to 3. And then we will find our overall efficiency. The, our formula is plant efficiency equals to output power over input power. And then the heat input equals to calorific value times mass of fuel burned. Heat input is equal to 3,500 times 4.8 kilojoules per kilogram times 165 times 1,000 1, times 3,600. And then our heat input will be 670,541.667 kilowatts. And then we will solve the plant efficiency. It will be 250 times 10 raised to 3 kilowatts over 670,541.6667 kilowatts. And then our plant efficiency will be 0 0.3728 or 37.28%. That would be all. Thank you and God bless.